Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Getting ready to do some groundbreaking on the garden. And as promised, I got the cultivator under the 212 Alice B. B or C, whatever. But, looky looky, got it all mounted up. Pretty simple, just took draw bar off, bolted up, everything went into place. These, I don't know, I put them about like they had them. But, uh, don't know if that's right or wrong. We'll find out. But it all works. It moves up and down. I've got it right above the ground now. And when we get going on this garden here, this handle right here, one click should put it to just below the ground, I'm hoping. So we'll find out here in a minute. And disclaimer i know these cultivator sweeps and stuff are not made to break ground they are made to use between rows after you break the ground i know everybody's gonna tell me that but this ground is not virgin ground i plowed this up last year made a couple passes and i just want to see if these will even hold up that's kind of why i want to run them through the little bit tougher ground to make sure nothing's going to rip or break apart or whatever i put all new bolts and stuff in it but who knows and then later when we get to gardening, I've got different sweeps and teeth and rippers and all that stuff. And we can move the spacings and all that. But right now I just want to see if the setup itself will work and not destroy itself basically or break and not going to be a piece of junk. Uh, the way it feels with the lift, I really don't like the lift. It's pretty tough to use. There was a spring assist on it, and I took the big spring off because it was more of a spring assist down, which I don't get. It's gravity down. It should go. And then when it was all the way down, the big spring was loose. So it wasn't like it kept it pulled in the dirt. So I don't know what the deal with that was, but it was a pain to pull it back up. So I took it off. That made it a little better. But it's still pretty rough to use. And I do got a drag behind just ground ripper. So, but if this works good... I can use this to you know cultivate my crops and keep the weeds down and stuff without spray so we're gonna try it we're gonna try to bust ground so hopefully the uh, sun ain't too bad but i made one pass down each side with a one bottom plow on my sears suburban there's another little rip pass up there just to kind of test it but it's still you can see it's all wompy and stuff but last year this was pretty well virgin ground it used to be a garden but hadn't been broken probably 30 years or better or 40 so it's pretty well virgin ground again. So I rebroke it up last year and that's about all I did. Come out here and brush hog it real quick. It had tall dead weeds on it, but we're gonna see if this will work. So I'll take you for a ride. We'll just get on this thing and we'll see. I just wanna see if it'll work at all or go to pieces. So let's just find out. Come on girl, there we go. All right, so let's find out. Get up here. Whoop. All right, like I said, we've got all new grade eight bolts and stuff in the sweep, so hopefully. See where I took that Sears Suburban and ripped it. There you go. One click. There it went. It's locked. So. It's 
kind of ripping stuff up. All right. That works good. Let's see about one more click. I think I'm going to do Trying to hold it and work it, folks. I can't hardly get this thing down. Oh my lord! That first step there. Hang on, I'm gonna have to put the camera. Down. Yeah, ain't gonna work. Dead in the hole. Hang on. I just had a problem. I was afraid that, that was going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, it died. Uh, well, I was afraid that was going to happen. My handle broke. It was kind of thin and weak and had been patched before. This thing is so stiff. I, I don't know. I played with it in the shop and tried to get it to working, but uh, I don't like it. I was kind of afraid of that. I don't think our little... I've got a different... Another one of these that's a little different. The way the handle's made and stuff. And it works really, really smoothly. And I went through and oiled this up best I could. But I never could get it to work... I never could get it to work super smooth. I got it better. But it's still too tough. And trying to pull that handle down... I didn't even get that mean with it and it broke. So if you got to do that every time, fighting it, is this ain't gonna work. But the concept worked. Let's go see what kind of ground we got broken. It did break the ground, and like I said, I know it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to use after it's been broke, but it did have enough power to do it. That's kind of what I was wondering, and it busted it all up. So I mean, it wasn't a total loss. I don't know if camera will pick it up with a shadow, but broke up all the way through there, so not bad. It will work. I think I've got another cultivator and the, the bar is different. I'll probably go change it out and try this again. Uh it's got enough power to do it. I don't know. I wasn't too happy with it anyway when I come out here, but I done had it on, so I want to try it. But it does have enough power to break the ground, and I've got a... If I put the draw bar back on it, I do have a one-bottom plow. So we might... I might go ahead and do that and then bring the plow out here and play around. But anyway, I'm going to cut the video off. Sorry it was short. Made one pass, and that went fine. It was the... Uh, when I tried to pick the handle up is when it broke, so. Anyways, I got the cultivators on. I got to play with them a little bit, but I'll probably, if I pursue this, I'll put that other set I got on. I got one more of these. It's in a lot better shape, and the arm setup was way different, and it worked really, really easily up and down. This thing was stiff and kind of troublesome to start, and I got it a little better, but it ain't, it just ain't going to work 100%. Oh well, trial and error. That, that's just part of this old junk and just like repowering that. I mean, you just got to play with stuff. So it is what it is. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll pursue this later. 
I may or may not put that other one on and swap the teeth and rippers over. But uh, I think I'm going to put the drawbar back on and come back out. I've got two one bottom plows. One is an Alice that's made for this. I'll probably try it. And then I've got another one that I think is ready to go and I might grab it first and fix the other one later and then we'll come down here and try that on the garden so stay tuned for that video so kind of short but it did work we did get to rip it we did it with a six and a half horse so anyways I hope you enjoy that sorry it was short but anyways trial and error we'll try another piece of equipment and try something else so I'll do something get this up grab the shop put something else back together so as always hope you liked the video if you do please give it a thumbs up it does help the channel subscribe if you have it don't cost nothing free if you do and i guess that's it so as always like and subscribe catch you on the next video bye